Everybody take out a sheet of paper. Don't need to rip it out, just kind of in your notes, just something to write on. I would like everybody on your paper to draw me a 120 degree angle. Just draw me a 120 degree angle on your paper. Ballpark, you don't have to use a protract or anything. Just kind of, just draw a quick sketch. Kind of peek there, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's an acute angle, my dear. 120 is obtuse. Just, just saying. Yep. Yep, that's exactly what I thought was going to happen. Okay. Here's the problem. What I just saw, some of you drew something that looked like that. Some of you drew something that looked like this. Some of you drew something that looked like that. And some of you drew something that looked like this. What's the problem here? We're all drawing something slightly different, right? So in trig, what we have to be able to do is we have to be able to, when I say draw a 120 degree angle, everybody draws exactly the same thing, okay? So, which one's the best one? The bottom left. Bottom left? Yes. How many people drew the bottom, uh, top left? There's a bunch, and I saw at least one of these, and yeah, they're all over the place. So here's what we do. This is the correct way to do this. We're going to put things in what we call standard position. Okay? Standard position, you're going to draw an X and a Y axis. Okay? Now, your 120 degree angle, we're going to start every single angle. Every angle we draw, the initial side will be the positive side of the x-axis, okay? What's initial mean? That's a starting spot, okay? And then we're going to go up from there. We're going to go in a counterclockwise direction to draw our angle. And then this side is what we're going to call the terminal side. What's terminal mean? No, what's the word terminal mean? Yeah, what's a bus terminal, a plane terminal? What's it, what is that word used for? But that's not why we call it a bus terminal. It's not why we call it a plane terminal. Okay, here's a bad reference. If you're diagnosed terminal, what does that mean? End. It's ending. <laughs> like that's what terminal means. That's where the bus route ends. That's where the plane route ends. Okay? So that's where the angle is going to end, okay? Now, what that does now is everybody's going to draw the exact same thing. So if I say draw a 90 degree angle, you're going to start here, and where are you going to draw to? Right there, and you're done. That's a 90 degree angle. If I say draw a 300 degree angle. Okay? You're going to start where? Right here. Tell me when to stop. Right there? That would be what? Okay. That's what? How about? Okay. Right out there? Three, what would be a full circle? 360. Yes? Easy? Simple? All right. So, so far, so good. Okay. Um, now, what this also opens the door to, I need a volunteer. You like I do like picking on you, but I'm going to let Jason, I'm, we're going to see if Jason can do this. Now, you might get on camera. Is that all right? That's fine. Okay. All right. So, stand over there. Back up a little bit. Give yourself some space. Like, get away from the board a little bit. Move out. Like, get, yeah, there you go. All right. So, facing me, you are now at a zero degree angle, okay? Got it? All right, will you jump to a 90 degree angle? No. No? Right, is he going to move positions? All he's going to do is, boop, 
Oh, I gotta rotate. Okay. So rotate 90 degrees. Perfect. Easy? All right, let's see how good he is. Okay, start back at zero. Can you do a 180? What's a 180? Okay, perfect. Start back over. Can you do a 360? Whoa, that was pretty good in boots. Okay. Can you do a 720? No. Not in one go. <laughs> Give it a shot. I've, I've seen two people do it. Two? Two. I'm trying. <laughs> good effort. Good job. All right, you can sit down. Kudra was one. Justin Kudra was one. He, he actually hit his head the first time he tried it. He tried it once, and he jumped way too high, and he hit his head in the ceiling. He's like, dude. <laughs> that was impressive. Okay. Now, what ends up happening is it, when we start having multiple or when we start having big angles, we can do this where we just draw. That's 180. That's 360. We can keep going, and that's a 720-degree angle. So in standard position, we can have as big of angles as we want. We just keep drawing around and around and around and around. Now, what it also opens the door is something else. What would a 270 degree angle look like? Which way am I going to end up pointing? Straight down. Agreed? All right. I want you to think baseball terms. Okay? Think about it. just steps up to the plate. And I just ended up at, this would be basically the equivalent of a, and that's triple. Like all the way around would be a home run, right? So aren't I like on third base right now? Yeah? I'm, I, I hit a triple, right? Yes? Yay! Freak awesome! We ruled it! Good job. Hit a triple, right? Yes? Okay. What do you think a negative 90 degree angle would then look like? So, now, instead of going up, we're just going to go down. Okay? So we can also have negative degree angles. Now, do these end up in the same position? Yes. Are they the same thing? No. This is the equivalent of Finkbeiner stepping up to the plate, and I hit a triple. This is the equivalent of Hunter stepping up to the plate, and what did he do? He ran right to third place. Oh, look at the little kid in that wrong way. We've all seen it. It happens, and especially in t-ball. Once in a while at the varsity level, you know, it's kind of sad, but you know what happens. Okay? So, is it the same thing? No. This one, the crowd's going wild. This one, yeah, the crowd's kind of giggling and, you know, feel sorry for the kid kind of thing, right? So, yeah, not exactly the same thing. But they do do what? The end the they end in the same position. These are what we call co-terminal angles. What do you think the definition of co-terminal angles is? What's the prefix co mean? Um, like co-champs, co- shared. what? You shared. You're doing something together, right? And then terminal. End. So co-terminal and in the same spot. That's basically all that means. Yes. You just... You just put zero here. That's all. That, yeah, that's all you can draw. There's not a whole lot there. It's just you might highlight it like that, make it thicker, but that's all it is. Now, how can we find coterminal angles? Let's take a 30 degree angle, which would look something like this. Which, by the way, is it important to draw these little angle curve, the spirals? Why? Because it also tells us how we got there, right? Where you end up is important. It absolutely is important. This angle, I'm going straight down. This angle, I'm ending in the same spot. That's important. But it's also important to recognize how you got there. Did you go in a positive direction? Did you go in a negative direction? Or did you possibly go all the way around once, then go down there, right? How would I find that angle? 360 
plus 270. What is 360 plus 270? That'd be 630. So that's another coterminal. All three of those angles, 630, negative 90, 270, those are all coterminal angles. Okay. How could I find more coterminal angles? If this is a 30 degree angle, how could I find another angle that's also coterminal to it? So what's another one? 390? Or I could, what would this angle be? Negative 330? Yes? Because all you did was minus 360. If you start at a 30 degree angle and then I go a full rotation, don't I end up in the full, same spot? If I go this the full rotation on the other side, don't I, am I, aren't I always going to end up in the exact same spot I started with? But I'm just kind of going in circles at this point. So what you can actually do, finding coterminal angles is actually really easy. If you want to, technically speaking, if I take 30 and add 360, that's coterminal. If I add another 360, if I add a full rotation, that's coterminal. That's going to be coterminal. That's, these are all going to be coterminal angles to 30 degrees because all I'm doing is adding more and more and more rotations. And I can also do the same thing where I just subtract 360 as many times as I want to. Okay? Now, I'm going to ask you a personal favor. You're going to get a question in your homework. And it's going to say, find three coterminal angles to 30 degrees. If you tell me, if, if these are the ones that you pick, negative 3,210 and negative 2,850, and then I have to check to make sure that that's actually correct, you're a jerk, and I'm going to get mad. So if I give you 30 degrees and say, find three coterminal angles to that, what would be the best answers to pick? 390, negative 330, maybe you add another 360 to this, which would be, what was it? Add 360 to 390, it'd be 750. Those would be good answers. 10,400 and whatever, no. Like, please don't do that to me because I'm just going to get mad. Huh? Yeah, you wait. Just wait. I'd probably, yeah, I'd probably just, just out of spite. Mark it wrong, yeah. All right, everybody take a look at page 15. Easy, easy stuff. 15. Now, by the way, this entire chapter, as we go through chapter 1, I need you guys to understand something. Chapter 1 is easy. I need you to think it's easy. I need you to, basically everybody needs to get an A on this chapter. Think about every math textbook that you've ever looked at. What is in chapter one? Sometimes it's review. But even if it is review, what kind of stuff is in chapter one? It's foundation stuff. This is stuff you're going to be using all year long. Almost everything we deal with this year is going to deal with angles. If we don't know how to draw angles and communicate with angles, you're going to struggle, not just in this chapter, all year long. Like, these are things that you can't just kind of understand this chapter. This has to be mastery level understanding throughout chapter one. Otherwise, it's going to just keep making everything harder and harder. I'm not saying chapter one is hard and it's going to take a whole lot to get to that mastery level, but make sure as we're going through chapter one, if there's anything in the homework that you're a little iffy on, it can't be iffy. It can't be I kind of understand it. It has to be at that mastery level because we're just going to keep using this stuff all year in different ways, okay? This is crucial throughout the whole chapter. All right, number one. 
They want you to draw and find one quarter of a rotation in a clockwise manner. So, what direction am I going? Down, which is a negative answer. One quarter wouldn't, well, it's already split into quarters, isn't it? So, the answer is negative 90 degrees. Simple. And then be able to draw it. That's all I need. If you look at number 12, a little harder, they want 17 twelfths of a rotation. And what is it, counterclockwise? So counterclockwise means I'm going up. Now, how do I find 17 twelfths of anything? 17 twelfths times 360, right? Now, if you wanted to, you could do 17 divided by 12, find that decimal, times it by 360. I personally wouldn't even use a calculator because I think it's easy to do 360 divided by 12. 36 divided by 12 is 3, so that's just 30. Then 3 times 17, or 17 times 3, that you might want to use, but it's 510. Now, is it positive 510 or negative 510? Positive, positive because it's? clockwise. So you're going to draw. That's 180. That's 360. That's what? So 360 plus 90 is 450. All the way to here would be, I'm at 450. So that'd be 540. So do I want to go all the way there? So it's going to be almost there, be about there, and that's what you're going to draw. Now, do I need like totally accurate, use a protractor type angles? No. Do you need to be in the absolutely in the correct quadrant? Yeah, make sure you're in the correct quadrant. Okay? Are we good with that? Easy stuff there? Yeah, I want the spiral because you know there's a difference between a 510 degree angle and a 150 degree angle. A 150 degree angle is going to be here, right? It's actually going to end in the same spot as that. But the extra spiral tells me I went once around. It's basically the equivalent of saying in skateboarding, if you see somebody go up and do a 180, are you impressed? No. If you have them do a 450, is that impressive? It's more impressive than a, you know 180 because now they're going once all the way around plus a little bit more, right? Like there's a big difference between those two. Yes? So how you get there absolutely matters. All right, so we go up through 12. Okay, if you look at 13, they give you a 40 degree angle. They want some coterminal angles. How do you find coterminal angles? You add and subtract 360 degrees as many times as you need. What's another coterminal angle? 400. Add another 360. 760. Now, there's a couple positives. Throw a negative one there. What's 40 minus 360? Negative 320. It really is that simple. Okay? Please don't go crazy and just add 360 40 times just to be a jerk and then give me some crazy giant answer. I don't want that. Okay? Are we good with those? Uh, 21 through 28, just plug those in. That's easy. Now, look at 29. It says I want you to start at a 210 degree angle, which is yeah, about right there. Okay? And then from there, go one clockwise rotation, which means I'm going this way, one clockwise rotation. So I went this way and then back. Basically, that canceled. All I really want, all I really need is that part of it, right? So I meant to do that in black. Basically, I started at 210. One rotation was worth 360, right? 
Am I going to add that 360 or subtract that 360? Right. I'm going to subtract it. The answer is negative 150. Does that kind of make sense? If you look at number 37, you're starting at a 310 degree angle, and then it wants two clockwise. Now, two rotations is worth 720. Am I going to add the 720, or am I going to subtract the 720? Clockwise, I'd be subtracting. The answer is going to be negative, what, 410? And just draw it. Make sense? Easy? The last ones are just find more coterminal angles. It's not hard. Now, coterminal angles, you got to remember this year, coterminal angles are going to have a lot in common. Things in trig are going to be like cyclical, where things just keep repeating themselves. If I can calculate something about 30 degrees, that also tells me something about 390 degrees. That also tells me about negative 330 degrees. If I know one, I know a bunch. So it is going to be important to be able to find these coterminal angles. Okay? And then, yeah, drawing angles, we're going to be doing that all year long. Crucial stuff. Easy, but important. All right. Good? Okay.